Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Joe. Which makes this brain stuff. So Ben, yep. have you ever been walking down an icy staircase in the winter and suddenly your legs start glitching out like you're a video game character? Yeah, that happens all the time. Why does that happen? Why is ice slippery? I mean, ice is just frozen water. Yeah, right, Joe. It's water that got cold enough to make the phase transition from a liquid to a solid, but the thing is, other solids aren't slippery. Magma cools and turns into an igneous rock like granite, and that rock isn't slippery. Yeah, and it's not because the water is cold either. I mean, you can walk around on freezing cold concrete all day and never slip, you know, if you have your life together. Right, so here's the crazy thing. Scientists aren't 100% positive about exactly why ice is slippery. Ah, uh, and here's what we do know. The reason doesn't have anything to do with the fact that ice is a solid. Right, actually it has to do with the fact that the surface of ice is really game to turn into a liquid. Okay, so this all means that the reason you slip and fall on a frozen pond is the same reason that you slip and fall on a wet hallway floor. Bingo, yeah, slippery when wet. But the question is why that liquid is there. So for decades, physics and chemistry textbooks have been teaching what most experts now agree is almost definitely the wrong answer. This wrong answer is based on something called pressure melting. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. The idea that when we step on ice, the pressure of our feet makes the top layer of ice melt into water. Even if we eat uh, a bunch of blooming onions, like 37 blooming onions. It's we're a good tearing number apart. of blooming onions. Yeah, we're tearing them apart out back. And then we go, hey, let's go ice skating, because that's what you do, right? Post blooming onion. Sure. Uh, even with all that, we're not going to be heavy enough to change the melting point of ice significantly. I mean, we might create enough pressure to melt ice that's pretty much at the melting point already, but then why do we still slip on ice when it's 10 or 15 degrees below freezing? Good question. Okay, so pressure melting is out. Here we get to the two big theories about ice today. One says that it's slippery because of friction, and then the other one says it's slippery because of something about the intrinsic structure of ice. Okay, let's tackle friction first. Friction is that force that resists when you rub two solid objects together. So when an ice skate or a shoe or a car tire rubs against a chunk of ice, it heats the ice and it creates that layer of melts and then slip, glutes, America's Funniest Home Videos, you know. Exactly right. The other explanation is more about the nature of ice itself. Mm. See, in recent decades, we've proven that Frozen water isn't quite as frozen as we think, at least on the nanoscale at the outermost layer. Yeah, so when you look at a piece of ice, you might not be able to see this with your naked eyes, mm -hmm. but the solid crystalline block of H2O is coated with an incredibly thin layer of semi-liquid molecules that are unstable, and I don't mean emotionally. No, 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 they don't lock in with the hexagonal chain link structure of ice crystals below them, and so they're all kind of willy-nilly all over the place. In other words, these outermost ice molecules behave like liquid water. So experts have narrowed it down to these two explanations, but neither one seems to be perfect. Right, yeah, some scientists have said that the semi-fluid outer layer of ice just seems too thin to make much of a difference. And if friction is really the main answer, how come you can slip on ice even when you're standing almost completely still? Mm -hmm. So a popular answer is to say it's some combination of the two, maybe? Eh, sort of. You know, what gives? We want to know what you think. What's the deal with slippery ice? And what's the worst slip you've ever seen on the ice? Let us know in the comments. Oh, and subscribe. subscribe. And remember that you can find all of our videos on brainstuffshow.com.